It's Erica Rogler, E-R-I-C-A-R-O-G-L-E-R. -E okay, and you're a title at the Dietrich. I'm the executive director of the Dietrich Theater. And would it be called like the Wyoming County or Wyoming Cultural Center at the Dietrich Theater? How do you generally say uh, it? We typically say Wyoming County Cultural Center at the Dietrich Theater. Okay, perfect. Yeah. Um, so first off, explain to me kind of what your role is here at the Dietrich Theater. Sure. So I've worked at the Dietrich for 20 years. Um, I started out as a projectionist supervisor and then Margie Young, who was our founding cultural director, she asked me to do some cultural events with her. And so that's when I found my true passion of bringing um, events and education and arts to our community. And so I worked with her for several years and then I became the cultural programming director. And then finally I moved up to the executive director. So I've worn many hats at the Dietrich uh, over the years. Um, and it's been a joy to kind of navigate the theater through all those roles. Right, and so what is it kind of like your day-to-day, -day, um, like what are your day-to-day -day jobs, your responsibilities? Uh, a lot of it is um, managing the overall theater, working with all of our amazing staff members, um, scheduling classes, mm -hmm. making sure they're run well, um, working with the community, different community partners. Um, there's so many other nonprofits to work with in the area and um, just engaging with the community and our patrons. Why do you think it's so important for a community like Tonkanic to have this cultural center here? Um, even though we're in a smaller rural community, I think it's important that the arts and education embrace everybody. And so for us making arts and education and and programming accessible to all members of community is so important. Um, that's been our mission since day one, and um, we're here to serve our community. Wonderful. I and mean, it seems like a lot of people from the community are coming here. I mean, you just saw many of the classes already filled with, you know, so many people. And could you explain some of the classes that we've took video of? The music with the littles, the, the chair yoga, the artwork? Sure. So we believe that arts and education starts before kindergarten. So we offer a variety of preschool classes like our Music for Littles class with Miss Abby every week and in it um, students get to learn about music, movement, rhythm, different instruments. Sometimes they make art projects related to it and it's really some of their first times um, being in a classroom setting with other kids. Um, so it's a great experience and introduction to the arts. And then on the other spectrum from going with our, working with our youngest um, audiences. We also have chair yoga and it's a great way for um, people to experience the benefits of a traditional yoga class without getting on the floor or a mat and in it um, they it's not only about physical health about strengthening your body and flexibility it's also about socialization so connecting with your community members and we have that class in person but we also have that on zoom so that was kind of like a silver lining of the pandemic as we learned how to reach people who could come in person as well as those who are homebound. And that's a free program as well. Um, so we just like to meet the needs of people in our community. And I know you were, I'm guessing, responsible for kind of really helping the, the Dietrich Theater adapt during COVID. Is that correct? Correct. Um, we luckily had a great team. Our board was so supportive and our staff and um, the community really helped us navigate um, COVID. And I think it was very reassuring to us to know that the community wanted to ensure that we would stay here for good. And um, that's what we saw from the pandemic is the community embraced us. And while they did that, we tried to continue serving the community. Did you have um, any part in trying to kind of figure out how to continue a lot of these programs like the chair yoga uh, during COVID? So, uh, like I said, it takes a team of yes. people <laughs> to do that. Um, so yes, I reached out to some of our different art teachers and saw what they could do. Some of them, like Amy Colley, who teaches art, and her husband uh, presented a, a video each week that we could email out to our patrons for them to experience the arts. Mm -hmm. um, our writers group, they would uh, create a prompt each week so people could experience that. We also had popcorn to go, which was a huge success. Uh, we had volunteers that come, came in and made popcorn, and then the community members could order popcorn and pick it up because oh. Dietrich Theater popcorn is the best. <laughs> uh, so that was exciting during the pandemic. And then our neighbors at Samarios also held a fundraiser for us as well. 
So a lot of people connecting and coming together to support their community. It sounds like that's a huge part of your job is bringing businesses and different nonprofits and um, organizations together into the Dietrich Theater. It is, um, and I think that's a joy of my job, um, being able to p partner with so many wonderful organizations and work with amazing people to create stronger programming for our community. Sounds awesome. Um, I know uh, the mention of the 2011 flood. Um, can you explain to me kind of your role after that happened? Uh, and, and there was, some, I guess, some flooding, obviously, in the Dietrich Theater. Uh, so when the flood happened, we weren't truly expecting it. Um, but I lived close to the theater, um, and I realized that we needed someone to help make lists of things that needed to be done, and we had all these amazing volunteers coming through the door, and they wanted to know how they could help, um, which is truly, I think, a reflection on our community. And we were able to work with them. They brought their talents and their tools, and they helped rebuild the theater. So even though the flood happened on a Friday, we were able to hold our film festival the week after, thanks to all of their help uh, putting the theater back together again. And I understand you were a big part in kind of being a leader and trying to help organize all of the different aspects in order to make that happen. Right, you know, I just had to create a list every night of what needed to be done that day and our amazing volunteers came through and, and did all the work wow. the next day. So we even had a group of eight volunteers um, who came every day for three months for 40 hours a week to put the theater back together. Yeah. Um, so I think it just shows what the Dietrich means to our community, and, and we're grateful. Yeah, and were you um, responsible too with helping with uh, the mural that's outside of the Dietrich Theater too? Yes, okay. so we worked with our partners at the Visitors Bureau and the county and Endless Mountains Heritage Region, and we worked with a local artist um, and a different a community, and we came up with the ideas for the murals and then brought them to life. And what was your role? Did you work with some of the artists in the area? So I worked with a local artist to put it together. I also wrote the grants for it and then um, chaired a committee to help choose the subjects of the murals. Awesome. And why did you put so much effort into something like that? I really think that um, Dietrich and community are so interrelated that it's important to be able to reflect the history of our region at the Dietrich too. It's part of our mission. Right. Um, and then I think something else that was mentioned um, in the essay that was written about you okay. was about the a, a rainwater garden. Is that correct? Is something like yes. that? Could you explain that? Uh, it kind of give me a, I don't know much about it, so sure. you have to explain everything about that. So our building is about 22,000 feet. And so when it rains, uh, we had a lot of rainwater runoff. And uh, like I mentioned before, our community has so many wonderful people in it that it was suggested instead of having the water run across the parking lot, um, to have it turned into a beautiful space that would use the water. And so we've had a volunteer who designed the water garden for us. Our friends at Williams um, funded it. And then we have volunteers that come in and maintain um, the rain garden. Awesome. So. I think it's just important to be able to say yes to different opportunities, and um, when it meets our mission, we, we gladly say yes. We offer so many different activities from our film festivals to blockbuster movies to pottery and sculpture where you see preschoolers throwing pots on a wheel uh, to music for littles to our golden days of radio, chair yoga, kundalini yoga, qigong, jewelry making, uh, introduction to stained glass, a writer's group, a veterans connecting meetup group, um, and we also have history presentations, concerts, um, Broadway, and concerts on screen. Um, so there's so much to do at the Dietrich. Sounds like it. I mean, you're really hitting like every aspect, I guess, of what somebody would possibly want here. Um, when it comes to the Dietrich Theater, where do you see, what do you see in the future as far as your position here, but then also just for the theater and the impact it has on the community? I see the Dietrich as having a very bright 
future. Um, the community has definitely embraced the Dietrich and I see our community ensuring that the Dietrich is here for future generations to enjoy. We love to hear when uh, families say that the grandparents saw a movie at the Dietrich and now they're taking their grandchildren or great-grandchildren. So we hope to see that into the future to be a sustainable organization for all to enjoy. And how does it make you feel when people say, you know, Erica does so much for the community, she does so much for the Dietrich Theater? You know, I, I say, you know, it's a really a team effort. Um, there's so many amazing people that make the Dietrich what it is, uh, from those who provide resources, to our talented teachers, to our amazing staff. Um, it's really a great team um, that makes the Dietrich work, and then our community who's so supportive. When you found out that you were nominated as one of our remarkable women, <laughs> how did that make you feel? Um, just encouraged. I think it, you know, that kind of nomination might makes you want to work harder and uh, help fulfill the needs of your community. That's wonderful. Yeah. And Deb is amazing. Yeah. <laughs> I wish you got to meet her. She's, I know. Well, she's living in her best life in Paris. Oh yes. my gosh. Lucky. So. Yeah, that sounds wonderful. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I think that would be wonderful in the future if we could expand. I mean, I think the overall goal is to grow and change to meet the needs of the community.